It's a lovely sunny Sunday, a little bit windy outside and there's a little bit chill in the wind but nonetheless it's sunshine and it's nice and it's better than having grey and wet and everything so I'm not complaining. And I'm charging my GoPro at the moment, my it's over there, I don't know if you can see the red light but um, I'm going out to film some Kendama stuff soon, I don't know if we're going to do it outside or inside. Um, I want to make a, a Kendama edit for um, Play Kendama because it was so awesome sending me free Kendamas. Um, so that's definitely something I want to do. And also I need to go and cut Paul's hair now because it's getting so long. Yeah. And last night before I went to bed I just stretched my nose up. Um, I had a gauge 4, I think it is. And I went to a gauge 2. Um, or was I on 2? Well, um, I, I was on 6mm now and I'm 7mm so my nose is running a bit and I'm a little bit tender and it'll be that for a couple of days. Um, it's not painful, like I can touch the nose. It's actually quite relieving touching the nose where other people when they had a stretch, they're like, oh, I oh, can't touch. For me, just just like, ah, oh. it like helps the sensation a little bit. Um, but I can't touch it too much to irritate it. So I'll probably speak a little bit like this the next day or so. Um, so at least you know why. Yeah, but it's like the afternoon now, and uh, we've just been chilling in the morning, had a nice sleep in and everything. And uh, now I'm gonna be cutting Paul's hair, and then after that, play some Kendama. If I'm feeling up to it, I'm gonna print out the boxes and start cutting them up and uh, getting all the decks sorted out. Yeah, been out and filming some Kendama, and I managed to fill up the eight gigs of here. Not that many good tricks, I guess, but it would be some to make a little edit. For play Kendama. I don't know if I'm gonna be um, sorting that out tonight. Who knows? But um, definitely, one thing I will do is um, is edit it. And we're going over to my parents' and we're taking Sally for a walk. And um, I'm just coming in to get a, a jumper or something like that, so a t shirt, a shirt, so we can go out for a walk. Whew, it was nice playing Kendama outside. The sunshine is great and nice, so. Yeah. <sighs> it's happened before and now it's happened again. I have been a phalian. That's what I call it, like an alien, but it did a fail, so I call it a phalian. Um, today I recorded a whole lot of um, Kendama edit with my new GoPro, um, which I have from Sebastian. I hope his package has arrived soon or definitely will be there soon. Um, but I filled out the 8 gigs of memory with Kendama tricks. I had some really, really nice tricks. Um, uh, well, I think they were good. And it was even harder because it was quite windy outside. So to get the tricks took even more long time. And uh, I wanted to make this for a nice edit for Play Kendama. And um, yeah, sure enough, all the clips were on. And I um, put it into a computer and dragged it all down to my um, um, movie program, uh, Final Cut Pro. And um, when I had them down there, I said, yeah, they're on there now. I used the phone app to go into this uh, baby here and uh, connect it wisely and delete everything because now I had it on my computer. So I took the card out of, uh, or disconnected this after I deleted everything and uh, wanted to start to edit it. It wasn't saved. Even though it had said that it was 100% saved on there. But I could see some of the file but it wasn't, it, I couldn't edit it. It was just uh, like... Um, like lost, it was just a very very tiny bit I could see, I could only see pictures, I couldn't play it, I could only see pictures like the thumbnails for the clips so I was really really bummed about that, so I lost a whole lot of footage I mean I filled out 8 gigs of footage today um, with this baby here so that's really really annoying, so I have to do the, um, a new edit soon that's really, I'm, I'm, like I spent so much time on it, I'm so annoyed uh, um, yeah, but the last, since I came home from holiday, I, all I felt I've been doing is like basically editing because I've just been editing, 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 vlog, 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 um, it's just, um, it's hard to come back into the game and, uh, whew, having this setback with the video I recorded on my Kendama game was like really, really annoying, I was really cross with that, um, and it's only about two hours ago I found out, so I was like, <sighs> really angry and I always thought that maybe I should go out and start filming some more in the workshop but nope I'm not bothered I'm gonna wait till tomorrow and if the weather's nice I'll do it outside again um, and I'll have to see if I can do some nice tricks but tomorrow also I need to try and lower us down some of these bloody mole holes we got in the garden and 
flatten out the grass, pick up dog poops from baby over there, Sally, and um, get ready to cut the grass because it won't be long. Yeah. I had a whole lot of stuff to do, really. Um, oh, did you guys like what I got from um, um, from Tyler from Yo-Yo Recap? This is the Yo-Yo I got. I'll put a yellow string on it because I think there's a nice contrast and it's easy to see. Love this Yo-Yo. It's really, really awesome. And I now found out um, a guy on a video on the unboxing of this told me that it's a dry um, lubricant, uh, which was in that little bag. Uh, and I didn't know that, so now I know, and I, I will look up how to use it, so that's really cool. But again, thank you so much, Tyler, for sending me all this stuff out. I mean, I got so many strings, guys, you can't believe it. I mean, I will never run out of strings for yo-yoing again, and um, I want to I wanna pick it up, really, again, become yo-yoing. Um, when I was a yo-yo first time, that was back when I was about 12, to 12, 13, 14 years old, and we didn't have the spinner yo-yos the same way as you have today. Like, when we... When we throw a sleeper, as it's called, when they're hanging down at the end of the three string and spinning, when we throw a sleeper, it was max of like twenty seconds or something like that. Then we have to get up again. So it's more like loop the loop tricks and stuff. Today you can do so much more stuff, and I know I got used to doing that kind of thing. Uh, I can use it a little bit, but I'm not very talented at it. Um, I can show you a few tricks now if you want to, just to give some more for the videos. So let me just set my my little tripod up, and um, I'll get you guys to see. Yeah. Let's just try to do a simple trick. Um, using this new awesome yo-yo here. This is a yo-yo factory uh, slush, um, which is really cool yo-yo. And I had it from um, Tyler, which is so nice because you know I didn't have any really really nice yo-yos. One thing I do like about this here is that it's actually responsive. That means a non-responsive will not come up when you do like this, but this will if you pull it hard enough. It will come up. That's very new to me. Um, I'm not used to playing with that now because I've tried these. But let me try and do some tricks. I'm first going to do something called, um, I think it's called Atomic Bomb, but I'm not too sure. So down, up, over, back, round, round, and out, on string, oops, on string, and then up. I think that's called Atomic Bomb, I'm not too sure. Then I could do, this is one of the things. I learned as my my first trick back in the day. That's called roller coaster. Again, down, up, over. Uh, no, sorry, I forgot it. Let's try again. How was it? Roller coaster. There we go. That's roller coaster as far as I think. Or it might be something else. But I was told it's called roller coaster, and you can keep going until you haven't got more string left. So. Um, what else can I do? Trapeze. Trapeze is like where you swing over and you land there. You can also do them double if you want to. Let go. Go back. Um, that's trapeze. And then you do trapeze, you have to pull the string the opposite way. Um, this one is called shoot the moon. I need some height for that. So I'm going to go a bit further down. You throw a sleeper and you get it on there and you shoot up. And that's called shoot the moon. Um, well, that's what we called it back in the day. We could do it with a sleep or yo-yo, but it wasn't that easy. Um, then I could use it. I used to be able to do a star with a string. I'll try to see if I can do it. But it's been so many years, I probably can't remember it. No, I can't. Over there, round, under, and up. I think I have it here. No, I haven't. <laughs> All right, let's do a classic one. Classic, classic trick back in the days. It's called Eiffel Tower. You could probably know that. Eiffel Tower is very simple. It's like that. Because it looks a bit like the Eiffel Tower. There's a lot more advanced version of this as well. Um, what else can I do? I, I can't do that many yo-yo tricks. I'm still learning. Uh, but I want to get better. I don't know if I can do it with this one here because it is responsive. But I can sometimes flick the string. See, I got it there. So that's some um, some of the tricks you can do. Um, yeah, what else can I do? I don't really know. Um, not that many. I mean, I'm I'm fairly new to this whole thing. I just like to juggle around like so and doing all the kind of crazy things. But this is an awesome yo-yo because it's got such a wide gap that you can basically catch it almost anywhere you want. 
And uh, don't forget to go and check out all the other channels I watch, like Fun for Louis, Ben Brown, because you might be interested in seeing their videos as well. Fun for Louis, I'm he's been he's been on a holiday now for like three months non-stop and it's just every single day he's doing something awesome like I'm, I'm thinking like has he won the euro millions or something like that since he can do all the stuff he's doing he's like flying a balloon trying those water thingies where you're wearing these like boots where you can hover on water and stuff he's like doing so many awesome things i'm so jealous i was like well not jealous jealous i just wish that i could do something like that like going on such an amazing trip and have so much to offer you new guys on video i think that would be really really sweet um, and I hope to one day that I can be able to provide awesome cool video like that yeah alright um, but I didn't get to make the boxes which I wanted to do because I have to make a video before I can finish the boxes I came to think about that I was just about to print them I was like no you can't do that yet um, because when you buy a finger bought from me in the future with the boxes there's gonna be a QR code on the back and uh, if you purchase um, a deck and you get that box, that QR code will take you to a video which um, you will be able to see or the people who buy them, uh, the boxes or the fingerboard with the box will um, will be able to go and see that video. And no one else will get that link unless someone shares it. That's the only way you can get to see it. It's nothing, it's, it's nothing like completely secret and fantastic, but it's shown something um regarding me and um uh finger warning so yeah all right um i'll uh, i'll catch you guys later so that will be sweet awesome and epic and good night <laughs>